Hello, it's me again, and this is Random Breakout City of Wizard Season, as always. Not as always, what? You know what? I think we all know what I mean. Anyways, Angel. Alright, let's take you first. Moan and groan at me all you want, mistress. But I shall still choose you. Go, Angel. If Angel has bones showing out of her wings, then shouldn't they not have, like, any meat at all? Like, shouldn't Angel just not have any sort of flesh there? If they have been, like, decomposed so much until you can see through to the bone? Or am I looking too much into this? Probably the latter. So there's that. And then there's also the interesting choice here of Is Angel naked? Are they naked right now? Like, I'm just saying this, or are they just wearing a huge ass, like, onesie that just blends in with their crumb color, you know? Because that dress does not, uh, at least that garment, does not have a very, um, what would you call it? A very strict outline, it seems. It seems that what Angel is wearing right now is either uh, sewn directly into their skin, or I'm just thinking too much about the design choices of what is most probably a common costume. It's also probably the latter again. But lordies. You have to say, it's a very curious costume, you know, like whatever Angel is wearing right now. Yeah, they've definitely chose some interesting things, you know, to outfit themselves in. So there's that. Anyway, speaking of flesh and to the bone. Military conscriptment. What does this have to do with cookie game? I don't know. But I want to talk about it, so here we are. Anyways, my country has mandatory conscription. Which is fun and cool and really great for all guys. Because, you know, you can't just be... You can't just um, force your citizens to go to war too without uh, being super sexist about it. But anyways, uh, moving on. I'm just not gonna like, we're just gonna pretend that didn't just happen, um, right, anyways, moving on, I mean, don't take my word for it, but I'm just saying, in a hypothetical scenario, alright, this is hypothetical, you hear me, I am not encouraging anybody to do this, I am not saying you should do this, I'm not saying you should not, I'm just giving you a hypothetical scenario. Alright, you hear me? But anyways, like, if they wanted me to go to mandatory conscription, there's an uncomfortably high chance that I, me, Francis, would refuse it and then I would, I would, I would, I would go to jail, prison. And like, I probably wouldn't even regret it that much either. I mean, I would rather go to jail and prison than have to go out there and just like... Yeah. I mean, I don't hate my country, hey? I mean, despite all the complaints I have about it, but like... I don't know, man, you know? It's hard to say. And it's not because... It's like a part of my religion or anything. I don't have one, I'm agnostic. But like... I'm just saying, you know? You get what I'm saying, you know? I would rather go to prison and have jail time than just like, well, go to war or something. Or just be conscripted in general. I mean, it's not so much about like, the whole being country, but it's about being like, it's about making a statement, you know? It's about saying, hey man, I don't agree with this. And if you're gonna put me in prison, when I could have spent all this time doing actual nice, productive things for society, but you're just gonna stick me in prison because I refuse to engage in what I see as senseless, needless training for violence. I mean like, you do you, but I would rather go to jail over that. And I'm just saying, alright, like, there's an uncomfortably high chance that that would happen if I was actually forced for mandatory conscription. Conscription, you know, for my country. And it's not because I hate my country, but like, it's more of a more ethical kind of thing, you know? Despite it all, um, I'm gonna say, we don't exactly have resources. Like, I feel like the one thing we could have is probably just people. 
also that we don't actually have anything else. Like, you gotta be real honest about it here, you know? Or whatever, man. And I mean, I'm not pacifist, you know? I'm not a pacifist, you know? Like, I believe that violence should be enacted in some cases when it is absolutely necessary. But, like, I don't believe in, like, violence for violence, you know? It's just so, so senseless, you know? I just really... Whatever. Anyways, chances is it's like, if you're gonna stick me in jail because I refuse to like, kill someone else or entertain the notion of killing someone else in a war, I think like, you're not exactly a bunch. I would have a great time, like, killing myself for in the first place, so there's that. After all. But whatever, like, this is, this is getting uncomfortably, like, very uncomfy, I assume, for a bunch of you people, if you're even like still listening at this point, I imagine. And I mean, it's not wrong either, I also don't feel that good talking about it, but like, these things have to happen, you know? But whatever. Let's go back to cookie game. Fuck, I'm so messed up, bro. Ah, uh, this is the legendary diversion thinking I was described to be having. I don't know, man. All I gotta say is that I'm drinking green tea right now, and it's not bad, you know, like like the actual green tree, the one in a tree, my ass, anyways, green tea, the one in a satchel, you put inside a cup, yep, that's the one, you know back in the day, right, in China, they used to eat the actual like green tea leaves after they were done with them, so that's why they call it green tea. Because they would literally just eat the tea leaves at some point. Nowadays, you don't actually see people do that anymore. But back in olden days, they used to do that a lot. So that's why you got like the phrase yin cha. Cha is tea, and yin is kind of just consuming it. Yeah, I guess. This is so dumb. Or whatever. Green tea is uh, green tea. 50,000 points. Let me see if I can get something better. Pink bear jellies. I mean, like, either of those don't really matter, not gonna lie. Let's get something else. Um, you, I guess. Till this day, though, it is mildly surprising how I managed to get this legendary costume. It's quite nice, though, so I won't complain about it, but truly curious. Is this what I broke my pelvis for? I guess we may never know. Good thing that Bunacha got buffed lately, though. So now I'll get more points from him. If I don't hit myself on obstacles, at the very least. Habit really makes mountains, so, you know. Oh my lord, please stop. Anyways, after all this one, my heart still raises a little bit when suddenly the phone alarm pops up. And then the volume is just elevated to like, piercing levels of noise. But hey man, what are you gonna do about it, you know? Other than hit yourself on an obstacle, please, okay. Thank the Lord. The Lord, the Lord. Mary is my Lord. I don't know. Imagine how horrifying that is, though, honestly speaking. You could put that in a game and just be like, one day I woke up and I was pregnant. There's no rhyme or reason to why. It's some sort of new body horror, honestly. Thinking about it, the human body really is horrifying. Huh? Like, well, you don't think about it, cause the concept of it is so, like, normalized, but, like, if you put it into, like, retrospect and detail more, like, it's actually just, like, it's a little parasite inside of you, it's feeding off all your nutrients, you know? Especially if you don't want it in your body, but it's still there, and it's so big, and at the end of its incubation, it just comes out, it's a wailing, ugly little thing, and then your body, a lot of times, it's just irreparably uh, changed from this experience, you know? And then you act erratically, and you can't think properly. Like, wow. Horrifying, isn't it? Okay, let's save this last shot for when we're about to die. Oh, well, that works too. Mm, one, two, please, 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 please. Oh. Okay, well, I forgot that I had um, an egg there for a moment, so there's that. Little, little eggy and a little goblet. 
all shiny and red. Red eggs. I wonder if they are actual red eggs. I know ostrich, not ostrich. I know there's some eggs that are purple colored. Emo eggs, was it? Can't remember entirely. One, two. Emo eggs, blue eggs, red eggs. Purple isn't exactly red, but I mean, who knows? Come on, man, you can do better. No, no, you're really gonna. Alright, I guess. You're going down this path, huh? Macaron. It's been a while since I've ate macaron. It's been a while since I've actually done anything in my life. Okay, let's not think about that right now. Man, I wish I was rich and I could do anything I wanted. I could immigrate. I could get a house. Okay, yes, we said not to talk about this already. Hey, hey. Think about the macarons waiting out there for you. In my dreams, I eat macarons. As horrifying as that might seem in this context, but hey, macarons are tasty. You know, it's a fight of life. And as your local sugar enjoyer, I will be remiss not to say that macarons are indeed not full of sugar. Wait, that sentence seems a bit wrong. You know, it's like, it feels like the equivalent of those so sentences that just go like, you see, I know that you don't know that I know, but you don't know that I know that you know that we don't know that he does that know something like that, you know? It's absolute pain to read because it's like, it's so simple at the end. It's just one interaction. But the way you phrase it means your brain has to go through so many tumultuous turns and twists along the way. At the end, it just kind of just gives up on itself, you know? Like, like the English language is just like that sometimes. I mean, that's probably how all languages are, I don't I do suppose, but still. One, two, oh, never mind. 277 million. Eh. Whatever, it's fine. What's up with this, man? They really want to give me a good thumbnail shot today, huh? So many legendary buffs. Who knows? A firecracker show to remember. Do I have this guy's costume? Should I check? I probably should. I mean, I don't think I have, but still. Oh, I do. I see. No wonder I thought about it so much. I quite like his costume, in all honesty. I didn't actually get it, like the day of the update and I got it sometime after I think during an event but still I do think it's quite cool looking the witchy hat I love the witch aesthetic may I say like gloomy and gothic and dark it's so cool honestly well fashion is nice you know there we go finish our mission thank you very much mister firecracker cookie huh yeah, I just realized I don't have to keep on tapping the button. Good lord. Could have saved my poor thumb a lot of uh, real hard action right there, you know? But hey, it is what it is. I'll remember not to let the thumb demons overtake me next time we play the skill. Thumb demons. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, keep your finger on the button. There's no need to keep on constantly pressing. Makes life much easier for me and you. There we go. Thank you very much, my dear. What about me? Ta ta. Okay, let's jump through the little bookcases. And there we go. 371 million. Oh, yeah, we finish our mission now. Mini Jackson number two. And the next one is this dude Super Magnetic Orange Island. I mean, the buff doesn't really matter, but quite like Kiri and what he is proposing to me right now with his speed. So there's that. Let's take him. Come on, let's go. I just realized I didn't check what the legendary buff just now was. But yeah, it probably is the one that gives you like extra points for crescent moon jellies instead of like more for what do you call it again? Yeah, instead of giving you more for just having giant... Not giant, where do you get that from? Instead of the one that gives you like jellies, crescent moon jellies when you break obstacles. Yeah. But that one will be pretty cool though. And I am feeling trickles of uh, icy water down my leg at the moment and I can't stop 
to see it because I'll have to pause the game and it's not very cool. Ah, the things I do for fame and glory. <laughs> I mean my community. Do I even have a community? Don't ask, alright. Wait, no, not don't ask. Don't answer, oh my lord. Oh no, this, this buff with the giant bear jellies, it's pretty darn useful, isn't it, hey? Wouldn't you agree? So, Mr. Kiwi, there we go. One, two. Speaking of odd things, you know, I noticed on my analytics a while back that Ecuador was like the top watchers. Just, just interesting to me. I don't know, sometimes I just get like certain like really specific countries that just pop up on my analytics for some reason. I don't actually have any idea why either. But like, they just come up there. Like, Violin is there, you know? Okay, well, oops, never mind. Anyways, Violin is there. Violin is mostly always there in the corner. Always in the top 5. So that's cool. Sometimes the Philippines comes up. But Ecuador was like a bunch I did not expect, not gonna lie. You know? And then other than that... It's usually the United States cause their people are everywhere. Of course. But it's always cool to see like my watches come from more Southeast Asian countries, I guess. Cause you know, it's nice. All part of the ASEAN region and all, you know, you know. Harmony, unity. Oh yeah. All that good stuff. Speaking of unity, this is a very nice costume, have I mentioned? It's so pretty. I love this aesthetic. The super like fluttery. Ephemeral, transient, fleeting sort of like fashion design and culture. Like the whispers of a ghost on the wind. I love that kind of feeling. This is why I love Hanku so much, you know, like butterfly sleeves. It's so adorable. Look at her, she's so pretty. So elegant. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> I love the little stick too, you know. Oh, look at that hat. It's so cute. It's a little conical hat. It's kind of sideways with a view. Uh, views give this such sense of like mystery that it's hard not to be enamored by just like the sheer like atmosphere and promise they give off to you of something more hidden beneath. Oh, what would I know, man? I'm just a dude on the internet, practicing poetic about cookie game character. Hey hey. But you know, to each their own. We all love our individual little indoor sequences. So, it is what it is. Tada! 500 million. On the dot. There we go, ninth combi. And it's you, Herb. Alright, I'll take you. You give me prospects of sunshine. Okay, um, sure, I guess. I mean, it's not bad, it's not good either. Can't really complain, you know, either ways. I do wish that I did have, like, a buff over, um, a shield right now. This is making me kind of nervous, not gonna lie. Especially with the lag spikes, but whatever, it's fine. We'll just run with it. Hey, okay. I like how the little lasers just have like little faces on them you know just the two expressions one of torpor and lethargy and the other of some sort of shock shock despair i don't even know what you call it man you know like like the face from the screen or something like that okay one two there we go it's a world of sunshine Pat Pattern, 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 pattern. And two, three, four. Please don't fall down the hole. It will not be very good for you. No, no, it's not good for your health. I wonder how they do the magic candies. They probably don't give them any blessings, I do suppose. To make it fair for everyone. But still. For some magic candy blessings, do have you able to get shields, extra jumps, or like be able to fall underneath the map for free so I know I'm just curious about that please give me something good 
whatever. You, you're alright. Mister, you're alright. Yes, running, running, running. It is indeed quite delightful, isn't it? But a drop in the ocean of time. Oh, wouldn't you say the same of light, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Speaking of relativity, did you know that Einstein wrote like before Einstein died, I think, he was about to write this whole book, you know, about how like um plate tectonics was just total um horse blast apparently. Which is always so interesting to me, but you know it really showcases the fact that like, people really just are just good in that one thing they're really good at. Like Einstein was just smart, genius, whatever, you know, but like you put him outside of his field and into like geography, like plate tectonics, and he's gonna be like a dumber and heavier than a pile of rocks. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like just because someone's one genius in something doesn't mean they're a genius in another thing, you know? Like someone can just be the absolute greatest at like gymnastics you know they can do all the flips they do all the muscle training and lifting you know i didn't know the way all the ways it has to go and work like the tendons in your body have to move a specific way and how to stretch perfectly or like put them in a swimming pool and they wouldn't know what to do with their body hey like human talent are it's just really like so specific i do suppose I mean, whether that's a boom or a curse is up to you to decide, honestly, but, you know, it's definitely quite fascinating to see by itself. Because some people are just so amazing at some things in real life, and I look at them and they're like, wow, they are so perfect, but in the end, they're still human, you know? And it's just like that sometimes. Okay, one, two, that we go. Okay, 491 moon. Not too bad, not too bad. Better than my last episode. Or last round at the very least. Here we go. 20th place. Not bad. Of a ranking. Anyways, let's say thank you to our comrades for running with us like usual. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. And love ya.